Do all terriers look alike to you? I thought it's just me, but somehow it's a bit challenging to pinpoint which is which. And amongst these cute furry canines, there is a breed called a Norwich Terrier. They stand about 10 inches and can weigh around 12 pounds. But that size, you will never believe that it was bred to be a hunting companion decades ago. Yes, that tiny frame can hunt and expend so much energy that they don't get a chance to be overweight. Lucky them, huh? Well, welcome to our channel Doggo Love. We just love dogs and want to share the love with you with all our doggo facts. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you don't miss any of our videos from Doggo Love. Today we'll be giving you our top 10 amazing doggo facts about the Norwich Terrier. Our 9 and 10 choices will amaze you, so make sure to stay to the end. So let's get into it. Fact number 1. They hail from the UK. In case it's not obvious, the name of the dog breed has Norwich in it. The terrier breed originates from Norwich, a city in Norfolk, England. During the 1870s, before the breed was formally recognised and named, Norwich Terriers had been popular pets amongst Cambridge University undergraduates. Their reputation as rodent hunters has gone beyond the boundaries of Norfolk. Soon, the students started using them to guard their dorms. One legendary dog named Rags was considered the Adam of all today's Norwich Terriers. He was a terrier in Trumpington Street and a notorious rat catcher. After spreading his seed, the reign of the new breed of terriers had emerged. In 1914, the Norwich bred started to invade the US. According to another legend, the descendant of Rags, named Willem, was exported to Philadelphia. Soon, the number of Norwich Terriers kept on increasing. It is during the 1920s to 1930s that the breed was officially recognised by the British and American Kennel Clubs. In 1979, due to the differences in the ears, the ACK, or American Kennel Club, identified the dogs with folded ears as Norfolk Terriers and then those with prick ears as Norwich Terriers. Doggo fact number two. They are big things in small packages. Why do I say so? Because they act like guard dogs, even though they are just little cute and furry creatures. The distinguishing feature they have is the pricked set of ears. This feature coincidentally contributes to a lot of their hunting nature, because through those fox-like pricked ears, they become very, very sensitive to sound. These terriers stand only about 10 or 11 inches tall, which can be attained during full adulthood, around six to eight months old. They are considered as one of the smallest working terrier breeds. And underneath that stuffed toy look are muscular fore and hind quarters. Doggo fact number three. They behave like normal terriers. Even though Norwich Terriers have what it takes to be the big dog, they don't boastfully flex their capabilities, like the always irritable Chihuahua. They behave just like other common Terriers are, and they like the company of us humans, and do doggo-like things. In case you're not familiar with the Terrier's distinct attitude or Terrier-tude, it is that they are not clingy. Yes, they love to be loved and treated well, but they're not necessarily clingy to their owners. It's in their genes to be independent, adventure seeking and being super friendly except to the rodents of course doggo fact number four grooming can be tricky norwich terriers have double coats a weatherproof outer coat and a soft undercoat a great insulator when it comes to the overall texture and volume the coat of these dogs is wiry and dense and although the fur is short the volume and texture make it full, in a cute way. Doggo fact number five. Their activity can be off the charts. There's no doubt the Norwich Terriers are not meant to be in kennels. And although they behave well with their human companions, when that adrenaline rush pumps up, there is no stopping them. And if they're capable of climbing or reaching it, they definitely will. So weighing in only at an average of 12 pounds, the Norwich Terriers have a lean yet muscular structure beneath that fur. 
so being sensitive to sound makes them great alarming cues, and the other edge of that sword is that they are also quick to bark. You just have to be quick, though, in suppressing that noise if it's unnecessary. Doggo fact number six. They have such a high prey drive that a docking tail was seen as a requirement. The Norwich Terrier has evolved to be one of the most efficient rodent hunters. History may prove that they are the best of it. And they just love hunting. They just hunt for the sake of it. It's part of their DNA. Whether it's rodents or squirrels or hamsters, no small creature is immune from the Norwich Terrier's hunting and terrorizing skills. Some owners may be tempted to pull them from sniffing and searching in tight and dangerous places, and thus a docking tail. Although there's a very strong argument to support that it may actually damage the dog's spine, so there may be some benefits and maybe some drawbacks from this activity. Doggo fact number seven. They are difficult to house train. Make no mistake about it, Norwich Terriers are great to have inside the home and outside in the backyard. They pride themselves as one very agile dog breed after all. But when they go on full hunting mode, it can be very, very difficult to change their DNA settings. So if you're planning to train them, take advantage of their agility and their explorer tendencies. Playing fetch might be appealing to them, but don't expect them to follow a choreographed dance to the detail. Sometimes there will be moments when they can be very obedient, and that is enough for that lesson in the day. But more often than not, their strong prey drive will override their commands for obedience. But they'll still love you. Doggo fact number eight. They need constant exercise. These dogs are not couch potatoes. They're so active that burning calories is just a normal part of their daily routine. And it's very easy to be tempted to put out more food than normal, but it's wise just to avoid doing so until the next feeding time. The suggested daily food consumption of a Norwich Terrier is just one good cup of dog food a day. And if you do allow your dog outside to exercise, make sure you have a good high fence they're such independent dogs, they can go miles away from home if they have something to sniff around and hunt for. Doggo fact number nine. They are a healthy breed. These terriers may have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. And throughout their lives, there are only a handful of serious illnesses to watch out for. If you are a dog breeder, of course, it's already part of your protocol to screen any existing medical issues of the stock, but for casual dog owners, it seems there is very little to worry about. The serious illnesses that Norwich Terriers might be prone to are patellar luxation and cataracts. So the list is fairly small. And one of the, the greater concerns owners may have for their dogs is their tendency to hunt for vermin. It could be an unfortunate circumstance where they would hunt a rat, for example, who had already been contaminated with rat poison. Overall, they are considered a very healthy, fairly low maintenance dog. Doggo fact number 10. Everyday living with a Norwich Terrier can be a blessing. Well, from all our information so far, it's very easy to conclude that this is a delightful dog. Although independent and energetic, they will be a true friend. A guard dog around your house, ever vigilant, and a true friend by your side. We love the Norwich Terrier, and we hope with this information that you will too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos from Doggo Love.